Hi students, currently you are completing your first homework assignment for your AP Language and Composition class. So far you should have already read uh, your an Introduction to Rhetoric using the available means, which was eight pages of a document that I've shared with you. And now you should be moving on to watching a video that will demonstrate how to complete SOAPs and will be using um, the Gehrig's farewell speech that you've already read in the reading previous to this video. So let's move on to analyzing that speech. So in your reading of that speech that you've done so far, you have already noted uh, two ways to analyze the speech. The first way that you've already read on how to analyze it is by looking at its occasion, context, and purpose. So for the occasion, it was already established that it was the Lou Gehrig's Appreciation Day. The context was that Gehrig's recent announcement of his illness and subsequent retirement. Gehrig was known as the Iron Horse who held the record for consecutive games played as one of the greatest sluggers of all time. Therefore, the context is most significantly adorable, uh, adorable, I'm sure he was adorable as well, but a durable and powerful athlete falling victim to a disease that strips away his strength and coordination. And lastly, the purpose was for him to thank his fans and teammates and demonstrate a positive attitude. So this first way of an analyzing the rhetorical situation of a speech or other writing is pretty straightforward. You're looking at three very general uh, aspects of a writing. When you move on to the second analysis of a rhetorical situation that you've already read about, you then looked at the speaker, audience, and subject triangle. Now with that, you determined that the speaker was Lou Gehrig, um, who is both a baseball hero and an ALS sufferer. You also should have read about how persona also falls under the speaker, where sometimes when we give a speech or do a writing, we're not actually writing from who we are on a daily basis, but rather who we feel we need to be in order to best convey uh, an opinion or to persuade an audience. Therefore, Lou Gehrig's persona in this speech is a common man who is both modest and thankful for the opportunities that he's had. Now this might be absolutely who he is, I'm not saying that he's putting on a false front, it's just the idea that this is the part of his personality that became most apparent in this speech, and that's how persona operates. Also, you determined that the subject of the speech was his illness and lucky breaks. And also you determined that his audience were his teammates, fans, opposing teams, uh, fans listening through the radio, and also ultimately history as the speech was remembered for a very long time. And an important note for this is that with the subject, you want to make sure not to confuse the subject and the purpose. Remember that the, sur the subject is what the speech are writing about, where the purpose is why the, sub, why the writing or the speech has been given or written. So make sure that you don't confuse those two items. Now we're moving on to the third way uh, to analyze the rhetorical situation, and that's with soaps. So if we return to the speech, uh, it's pretty easy to identify uh, the different aspects of soaps in this speech. Um, the speech is pretty straightforward. It's on the shorter side, um, so it's pretty easy to work with. When you start working with longer writings, uh, determining soaps might become a little more difficult and will likely also necessitate outside research, especially when you're trying to figure out occasion um, and the audience and even the speaker. So, for starters, in soaps, the first S uh, it represents subject. So when we're looking for the subject of this, um, we turn to the text and we see two subjects occurring in this speech. The first is uh, the bad break I got. So that determines that the first subject is his illness. And again, I just want to stress, do not confuse the subject with the purpose. The subject is what and the purpose is why. So what is the speech about? His illness, this bad break as he describes it. The second subject is the past events of his life, which he's grateful for. And so we can see that here, that he considers himself the luckiest man on earth. Now, while there will sometimes be one subject for a single writing, very often there are multiple subjects. Uh, for instance, even in this fairly short speech that was given kind of off the cuff by Lou Gehrig, uh, he still had two subjects to contend with within these couple of paragraphs. Therefore, make sure that when you're discussing the subject of a writing or a speech, that you make sure that you account for all of the subjects that are being uh, discussed. Now, 
Next, uh, the O stands for occasion. So what is the occasion? The occasion is the Lou Gehrig's Appreciation Day, where this speech actually occurred. Uh, and you can do further research into what that occasion actually was um, in order to glean more information about the significance of this speech. Furthermore, we then go to A, audience. And so the audience were the teammates, fans, opposing teams, fans listening on the radio, and history. This might be sounding kind of redundant. That is because the different ways that we analyze the rhetorical situation do overlap, where they have common parts, because these common parts are very important to understanding how a speech or writing operates. So next, after the A for audience, comes P for purpose, uh, which again, we've already determined in other forms of rhetorical situation analysis. But again, here we see that the purpose is to thank his fans and teammates and to demonstrate a positive attitude. And so that is how, oh, and last but not least, we need the last S, which is the speaker, uh, which is Lou Gehrig, the famous baseball player and ALS sufferer. And then we have, again, his persona, which was a common man who is modest and thankful for his opportunities. So that is how you go through the SOAPS process. Uh, now the question might be, why do we do this? It does seem really straightforward. Why are we going over this information? Um, and why do we need to use these different analysis strategies to glean this information from a text or from a speech? The reason why is because it gives you different pieces of information to write about in order to prove something about about the speech or writing. It ultimately gives you the tools necessary to analyze. So when we go down to the outcome of the SOAPs, we have this paragraph, which is an analytical paragraph about Luke Gehrig's speech. And as we go through this, you're gonna notice that it brings in all the different tools that we see in SOAPs, and then also that we saw in the um, occasion, context, and purpose, and then also in the rhetorical triangle. So let's see how you can bring all of this together, and hopefully in seeing this paragraph, you'll understand and see why we do these three different tactics of rhetorical situation analysis. So the paragraph reads, in his farewell speech, Lou Gehrig addresses briefly his ALS illness and more thoroughly his lucky breaks. The speech was given during the Lou Gehrig's Appreciation Day to his teammates, opposing teammates, fans in attendance, fans listening over the radio, and even to history. The immediate purpose of his speech was to thank, typo, to thank the people from his past and present for their support. He lists numerous people to whom he is grateful, ranging from people he has worked with, Jacob Rupert, Ed Barrows, Miller Huggins, Joe McCarthy, Bill Hickey, and the New York Giants, to his family, mother-in-law, father, mother, and wife. However, the lasting purpose is his demonstration of positivity and rem and remaining grateful for his life, even as it is as as it was ending. Tones of resilience through pos through tones of resilience through positivity is seen through his diction of kindness and encouragement, wonderful, greatest, outstanding, finest, best, honored, dreamed, and the repetition of lucky. These simple and consistently positive terms highlight the great life he has lived due to the people who have lived it with him. Therefore, the speech highlights not only the speaker Lou Gehrig as being a famous baseball player and ALS sufferer, but highlights that he is a common man there to inspire others to practice the same positivity and gratitude that he brings to his speech. So here, hopefully you've noticed all the different parts uh, that we've put together into this paragraph from our SOAPS analysis. Uh, and really, that's what the SOAPS analysis is for. It's to give you a structured and thorough way to address all of the necessary parts of a speech or writing. When you don't use SOAPS, you could potentially miss out on a very person important um, element. It also might make structuring uh, your analysis a little more difficult. And you can definitely write analyses without SOAPS. SOAPS is essentially a tool to make writing your analyses easier and more accurate to what's expected. One thing I do want you to note that with SOAPS, it's just not a sentence for each element that's been all kind of mushed together. It's not a bunch of sen sentences, one for S, one for O, one for A, one for P, one for S. Uh, there are transitions, um, and there's attention given to how each sentence builds into the next one. So when you do create a paragraph based upon your SOAPS analysis, please make sure that it's still a very well-written paragraph that's logically developed and reaches um, its own purpose. So your paragraph should have a purpose of your own. Ultimately, your paragraph 
could have a SOAPS analysis taken of it. Who is the speaker of your paragraph? Uh, what is the occasion? What is the audience? What is the purpose? Who is the speaker? Um, I can't, and also the subject, if I didn't mention that. So think about the fact that every single writing, even the writings that you do, utilize um, SOAPS elements. So for t uh, when you attend class, your first day of class, you will be completing a SOAPS analysis and also a rhetorical triangle analysis on a speech, which will be provided to you on that day. So please make sure that you come to class with your notes and ready to complete these rhetorical situation analyses and write a resulting paragraph from that analysis. All right, see you then. Bye.